Hey everybody, it's Jonathan from Red Pack Drums back again with the video. Today it's about ERDX Bogren Digital coming out with a new plugin, ERDX Speaker Dynamics Breathe Life into Your Amp Sims. Okay. So it's no secret that I'm a big fan of everything Bogren Digital is creating. And they are sending me all their stuff for free, so it's totally sponsored. Shit. I have an affiliate program with them. You can get discounts and I get a fee if you buy something through my channel. No secrets there, right? But yeah, these guys just make great stuff. But this IRDX speaker simulating technology, I don't know what the f I'm not so sure about that. Do we even need that? Is this like great marketing creating a problem with our impulse responses to my opinion these e impulse responses already sounded great let's check that out in this video so i got here a metal project i dig up from my hard drive i really like this song so it's drums bass three guitars and a vocal that's it so the idea is you you use an amp sim with an obvious impulse response behind it to get that real amp tone cap tone that you want and then put the plug in behind it to create speaky dynamics like a real cabinet okay so impulse responses are a snapshot in time of this cab and bogren digital tells me we need the dynamics okay so before we start yeah it's just crazy to me how easy it is to get a great metal sound these days i just put on crim drums i used uh, a combination of uh, plugins to get this bass tone because the the bass guitarist was a bit dull to me the, the bass sound was a bit dull so i needed some more juice to get the the bass uh, running a bit but you can get a bass knob if you record a really clean Right, the eye sound from your bass. You just put in this uh, SCD STT classic up yours, and it sounds great immediately. But for now, I didn't use it. On the guitar le uh, left, the 6606066 amp now from Bogen Di uh, Bogren Digital. Bogren. Yes. On the right, uh, the Rev C. So that's a uh, Meza Boogie. On the lead guitar, I put the MLC but the MLC already has a built-in IRDX technology so I'll I flip that off so just to see what the plugin the separate plugin does with the sound uh, but I already made some videos about all these plugins I'll link them up somewhere if you want to see them and straight out of the box nothing no plugins running whatsoever yeah, the, the, the amps, just some routing, no plugins, and just using some plugins, some uh, processing on the vocals to get that sitting right in the mix. And on the end bus, I just made it a, a bit brighter, uh, a little bit more thumb with a dynamic EQ and a limiter. That's it. And straight out of the box, it sounds like this. Just crazy to me feel for a few hundred bucks drum library amp sims can make create already great sounding recordings for your band really cool bogan digital keep it up motherfuckers. okay back to the irdx technology these are just the amp sims no irdx technology so for now i'm just gonna ab it with standard settings
Okay. Okay. To me, it's really, really subtle in these standard settings, especially on these high gain guitars. Yeah, you can hear it a bit on the dig and then then it has a little bit more life to it, more dynamics. But do you really need that in a mix with drums pumping, some guy screaming the shit out of this uh, this song? I don't know. You tell me. I already found the amp sim sounding really great, you know? Okay. So let's put this thing on extreme. Just to compare. 150% intense. Let's go, motherfucker. Okay? Bypassed. <laughs> Okay, on extreme settings, it it gets more obvious the the difference. It makes it brighter. Not sure why. Bogan and digital. Why does it make it brighter? Is that the speaker compression dynamics? I don't know. But could work if you need a brighter guitar and you don't want to EQ it because there's always a price to pay when you EQ something. So you tell me if it's worth the money. This ERDX core technology. Sounds high techy, but do we really need it? Uh, I got it for free, so that's cool. So I'm definitely going to use it and try it out more. But you tell me in the comments if this 40 bucks is worth uh, this thing. And if you use my discount code REDPACKDRUMS, you get a discount at their shop on everything. So let's run a, a, a bit quick through the features. Uh, they've got an automa automatic calibration. The manual told me that there's a sweet spot where this thing works the best. So when you run some audio, some DI tracks through it, push the calibration button. And you'll see it calibrating and it will calibrate the input and the output. So when it's green, it means it's calibrated. Uh, there is a link button for the input and the output. So if you want to adjust these, you can link them or unlink them so volume stays the same uh, there's a normal and an intense button irdx mode switches the mode between normal and intense normal mode offers subtle natural speaker movements compression and distortion and the intense mode offers a slightly different flavor and makes these effects more noticeable in the end it's all uh it's a matter of personal preference. Okay, thank you. The IRDX amount, so the big knob controls the intensity of the IRDX, turning it up as natural speaker movement, compression and distortion, so same shit as the, uh, the button, right? Only uh, in percentages, 100% uh, is the ideal setting for a natural representation of a speaker but if you're feeling ad adventurous if you're feeling adventurous as as a producer you can push it up as far as 150 percent okay uh my definition of adventure is a bit different but okay cool wording thank you uh, poker and digital okay so that's it for today on the irdx Speaker Dynamics Technology by Bogren Digital. Let me know in the comments if you think this thing uh, has any value. So if you want to buy some stuff of Bogren Digital, punch in the Red Pack Drums uh, code and get a, a sweet deal on their, on their plugins. For now, I'm out.